I admire the masters, but I am not one of those people. And so I think if you're comfortable not being, I'm, I'm totally cool with both things. But for me, to s focus on one thing seems exclusive and miserable. Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand doing it. So, and I also feel like I'm not even really the doer. I'm just like the collector of of people doing interesting things. And I think I made that choice when I went from making films myself to doing the film festival. And I remember thinking, am I giving up like being an active maker and an artist? And I'm not, I'm just gonna help other people get their stuff out and I will never do anything myself. But I realized I could be one of, for me, I could be one of a million people making those films that never get seen. Or I could try to get some really good films together and get make sure that those get seen. And so you gotta find out what your skill is and you should not focus on one thing. You should do a million different things because I know all your talents and don't, don't, don't lose them. I, I think eventually was you, when you get old, those things start to merge in this great way. So these pieces that felt very separate, in fact, for a long time, I kept Interhealth and Saxbaugh totally secret from each other. It was like I was having an affair and I didn't want either one to know <laughs> what was happening. And then they finally found out about each other because of some articles and I was you know, really worried about it. And, and instead, it's just ended up being another, a whole other level of collaboration that's made it better. So I think you can merge. Well, I have. I have two phones, I have two computers, I have two children, I have, um, you know, I, I didn't until recently sleep that much, honestly, and I think that helped, but then I hit 45 and I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta sleep now. So I'm trying to, trying to do that. I'm, I kayak every day, that's actually been another part of just like calming down life, but, but otherwise I, I work all the time, I work a lot, and I really love what I do so it does not feel like work, and that's the only way I can do it, but I'm generally running back and forth or, you know, trying to use the interwebs to keep me from driving everywhere to connect with people and, um, and it, it, but it just feels very invigorating to me. So I don't, I don't, I'm not one of those people who gets tired by these things. I get really like really awake from these things, I'm kind of a pathologically friendly hyper person. So it, you know, works for who I am. But I think, you know, th my, my again, advice from being older is, follow the things that you naturally are really just actually drawn to that you just can't resist and that you're, that are profoundly moving to you. I, I, I really mean it when I say TweetDeck is kind of my air control tower of, of life. I always have about 70 tabs open that I intend to read from wonderful links and articles that have come up from things I'm, I've, I've used it to follow all the subjects that I love. Um, and I, I read a lot. I really love love that but you know at this point I just know a lot of really great people and so I'm always on the talking with them or we're FaceTiming or Skyping or you know in meetings trying to come up with ideas of ways to work together I think being for me being alone is and by yourself you know you need to have reflective time and downtime to figure out what you need to do but to absorb and then but you, you really need to then get to that next step of actually doing something about it and for me other people help that happen because they are the motivators and they have their own agendas and interests and so you know the more you can gather so you come to this once a month but you know pick five people and meet with them once a week here you know you'll start to make up things together and you can't resist and, and it, it's just more exciting that way <laughs> if I could show you my phones this has 1,600 unread, 16,000 unread email messages. <laughs> and yeah, just tweet, tweet me, that's the only effective way. But, um, and this one has 300 unanswered phone calls. So I am terrible, I, I am terrible, I don't have assistance. I, I, am, I am, you know, I worry that I'll be considered flaky. It's not flaky, I just can't, I cannot keep up with it. And so I haven't found the answer to that yet at all. I just try to, it is kind of zen if I'm there and I'm seeing that email when it comes through that stream, I try to respond as fast as I can and I know kind of secretly what my own priorities are so I have to go to those things first. Um, I haven't figured out the answer to that and I way say yes to everything and a wonderful friend of mine once said, if you can't say no, then just limit your yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to think about that. I'm trying to do that, but I'm not that good at it yet. Yeah, yeah. So. Thank you so much Thank for you. saying yes to this. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> really appreciate it. <laughs>